Welcome to Roman on CVI. Today, I would like to spend a little bit of time talking about an issue that I think is important to a lot of people, and that is you know, why does a child seem to get stuck at a certain score for a prolonged period of time, especially in phase one and phase two? So I'd like to offer some thoughts around that. And first, I'd like to say um, the first thing we should probably look at are changes in the child. So does the child have some new medical things that have changed? Has the child had surgery? Are they in pain? That will really cause you know a child to not be very in, involved in the activities that we think are important if they're preempted by their own pain and discomfort. Have they had new seizures or new seizure medications? Uh, <clears throat> has there been a change in their pattern of seizures? Those things can all influence um, a child's progress. But generally, those target issues are short term. They are often um, resolved fairly quickly. And if they aren't, um, that becomes the focus for everyone to resolve that. Um, there are two other reasons that I think may be more common. And th these explanations have to do with things within us. So not the things within the child, uh, but the things within us. Because we know that children with CBI do not have vision that varies from minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day. But actually, nobody's vision really works that way. And so we, we now can recognize, for example, that sometimes the adaptations and the environment don't permit access. And so we have a child who might be in a classroom and people have a black background and they've highlighted things with red or yellow or whatever color they need. They have um, tried to maybe even put it on an iPad or have a backlit surface. But if they don't pay attention to what else is going on around the child and match that back to the child's range score, they are just missing. It's just a mismatch. And so, um, you know, I often say this is like, you know, really working hard, um, but going in the wrong direction. So there's no question that people have put things in place for the child, but if it isn't a good match, like a really substantial match to the child's range score, there's a good chance it's not going to really result in change. The third reason so we talked about medical reasons, reasons in terms of the environment and adaptations to materials that have to match the range score. And the third reason is opportunity. It is not uncommon for children with CVI to be provided with um, limited opportunities to use their vision or to have vision time. This, this can never work. This will never result in improvements in functional vision. That frequency is really, really important. And that if a child doesn't have an opportunity to use vision throughout the day to the greatest extent possible intentionally, I think that we also don't see change. So when we think about how those neurons in the brain are firing up to try to form new pathways for vision, those pathways remain pretty wild, pretty unconnected, pretty unusable, pretty fragile if the pathways only traveled once a week or five minutes a day. Nothing will change on that pathway. So, so this is where the CVI schedule can be really useful in ways that can help in, um, really in, intentionally create these opportunities throughout the day in a way that the whole team needs to buy into and contribute to so that even though there will be clearly times that there's too much chaos or too much going on, too much sensory input, um, too much novelty, something's happening too far away, those times certainly exist. You know, a child does sometimes have a birthday party in a classroom. But by and large, we should be capturing times that are fairly consistent and that occur, you know, <sighs> six to 96 times in the day. Um, things that are small and things that are substantial, but they all count because frequency in use of vision helps support the development of vision, especially if it is paired with a rewarding and meaningful activity. Thank you. More about this in the future.